Devon Malcolm bowled from there last night. So there has been a slight change in tactics there by the England captain. Well, that must have been close to the glove. Here's the first bounce of the morning from Chris Lewis. Got it big, above head eye, and it must have been very close to something on the way through. Cracking shot. No footwork required there. Just those strong wrists and that wonderful eye of Amasa Hale. And this is the problem. They don't play if you ball just outside off stump. That would certainly be middle stump, pitching roundabout leg. But very, very quick to play the pickup shot on the leg side. I take it back about the foot, footwork. That was crisp cross behind. Classical pull shot. Yes, that bounced a nice height. You can see that about waist eye, ideal for playing the pull shot. Well, heads half down there. Now Grant Prakash, the man out at cover. Well, an over-ambitious shot here from Amir Sahail. This ball very wide and he really can't get his foot right across to the ball. It's just a real whoosh with the arms. That's what he was trying to do earlier in the over. Fifty-one partnership for Amir Sohail and Ramiz Rajas. Second time they've passed the half century in opening stands this series. And you can add four more to that. Now it's Devon Malcolm bowling to Amir Sohail. Could have dragged that onto his stumps. That's just about the widest and wildest ball of the series. Well, umpire Bird has got to get his bearings after that. Oh, bowled him! Full length ball, he got it right, and Ramiz Raja playing round it. And first wicket, first blood to Devon Malcolm. Ramiz Raja bowled for 19, and Pakistan 64 for one, and only one stump remaining. And Shoaib Mohammed promoted to number three, and that's significant because at the start of the series it was thought he might have played instead of Asif Mushtabar. In fact, he's come in instead of Inzamam Ul Haq. Oh, well, got away with it. Nowhere near the pitch of the ball and happened to go through with it, otherwise he just might have spooned a catch uh, to mid-on or mid-wicket, but uh, lucky to get away with this. Well, that was a much more positive hit. And this is good cricket from Sahel. Unfussed by the loss of a wicket and his partner Ramiz Raja. If he can hit Tufnell out of the attack, then uh, that really will be a problem for Gooch. Oh, the spin there, that's from the rough.
Yes, there again, Tufton bowling slower, giving the ball a bit away. And uh, Amir padding it up. Certainly there's uh, the spin. Well, no ball called. Now, uh, how close was that to the stumps? Well, Amir beaten that all that was a no ball, but the ball pitching in the rough, turning quite sharply, missing the stumps, beating the keeper. But certainly there was a lot of turn. Beautifully played. That's a very good shot from Shoaib. Way down to the longest part of the ground, down the Vauxhall end. Beautifully executed. Yeah, Devon Malcolm's ball with a lot of fire this morning. I think one problem when he's really trying to ball exceptionally quick, he gets wider and wider on his delivery stride. And the last over, he was going really wide. Early on, he was following through and going pretty straight down the wicket. But when he's really straining for pace, then he just go wider and wider, breaking away too early. his left hand side the umpire square leg Dickie Bird raised an eyebrow to David Shepard who said yes it was caught cleanly and uh, that is the second wicket down 86 for two now and Malcolm has clicked into gear Shepard me and dad 